is not true. The Minister of Finance came under fire when she disclosed federal government's plans to slash salaries of civil servants and merge agencies with duplicate functions. This, she said, is part of efforts to stay afloat against rough economic tides, which the country currently faces. But several interest groups and individuals have condemned the decision. The latest criticism is coming from this group of civil rights activists. They say government should look elsewhere in its quest to generate revenue rather than slashing salaries of civil servants whose take-home pay is still grossly inadequate. If you think of the, the salary scale of Nigerian civil servants, you just pity them. You, pity, as a, you, you have pity on every one of them. We have some places that they call GC organizations. When you talk of maybe NMPC, some other places that they call GC organizations, government should consider how to balance the, the salary structure. And again, look inward, even to themselves, the political office holders. They should try as much as possible to cut costs. We see them by writing jeeps and everything, and the jeep that a, a director or one teacher wrote this, this, in his own tenor, put it completely. Another thing will be, another vehicle will be acquired, which is not done. So the wastage is what we should consider. The wastage in the system is, is what we should try as much as possible to cut, and not cutting the salary, which is not even enough for the civil servant in the first place. Nigerian workers' minimum wage is one of the lowest in Africa, despite being one of the biggest economy in Africa. Analysis of wageindicator.org data shows that an average worker in Nigeria is paid 80% lower than the highest minimum wage on the continent. The Nigerian Labour Congress also condemned the decision and promised to continue to fight for the rights of Nigerian workers. Helen Osamede Akins. TVC News, Abuja.